ja, roept ons even door het verkeer en manoeuvreren vandaag. Want uh, hier is het stadion en blijkbaar is onze grote vriend Biden hier naar op weg. Today we have the uh, first tour of Old Praga, Old Warsaw. I don't know exactly where we will go, but we'll start here. But first we have to find some food because we are cold and we are hungry. So uh, let's see. And we will show you the very nice restaurant in this old oh. uh, old Praga. Old Praga, so it has. Old Praga is on the east side of the river. It used to be very poor neighborhood, but old the old factories are now being used as fancy restaurants. Yeah. Uh, so and we'll show you this fancy restaurant. Okay, we go to a fancy restaurant. We now we arrived at the uh, old vodka factory. Um, you can see the back of the sign of the factory name, I believe. And uh, it has been completely refurbished with moderner, modern buildings and a uh, combination of old buildings. And uh, it looks very fancy. Oh, ik hoor net dat je je Tesla kan bestellen. Tesla oh, dat is een Tesla winkel. En ook een elektrische Audi. Oh, dat is een elektrische Audi. Oké, okay. nou, dus ik kan het bijna niet zien, want het lamp raam spiegelt. Ik vind dat je weer, dat betekent ah, okay. elektrische winkel voor jou. Ah, dat is wel fijn. Ja, we gaan uh, nu uh, met de metro. Maar je moet nog steeds een... Oh, ik heb de pin ook geregistreerd nu, denk ik. <laughs> dat zal ik wel uh, uitblurren dan. Oké, okay. we bought tickets and uh, I don't know where to go. Nice that you don't have to figure out where to go. Because yeah. there are a lot of, lot of options in this uh, underground building. Morgen, Potjong. Ja, daar komt hij aan. Nothing to worry Why about. So high. Yeah, oh. we are the same speed, so there we nobody wins. Nobody wins. To get out of the metro, you need this ticket again. I hope it works. No, it doesn't work. Another one. No. It doesn't work. No. Well. We have arrived on the other end, other side, I mean, of the river Wisla, if I'm not mistaken. We have some local, uh, I don't know, practices, practicing girls for whatever, entertainment. And uh, some horses on, police on horses on the far end there. <coughs> and as well. Yes, the oh, we have to go this way. On this end, it's a better picture of uh, of the mermaid, which is the symbol of Warsaw. Just asking, perhaps we'll look it up. And in the far end, the stadium where Mr. Joe Biden currently is, apparently. Uh, speaking to the Ukrainian refugees. So, we'll have a look around and see what we'll see more. Oh, we worden al uh, verwacht, zie ik. Dat is wel gezellig. Wat een luxe. Het ziet er uh, gezellig uit. Meneer, moet, waar moeten we zijn? Welkom in de powerplant. Oké, okay, nou gaan we kijken. Zo, dat is de beste powerplant. Wat een gezelligheid. Het heeft niets meer met corona te maken dit, maar... Nee. Well, have a look. How it is. Well, it's mostly interesting this specific bar, Bar Central, Central Bar. With the old uh, machinery still there. And uh, lots of drinks. But uh, we'll skip for a moment. Because we have uh, other things to do. We have to visit Mr. Joe Biden. 
and we cannot get there when we have too much alcohol. So uh, we give it a go. Okay, we are choosing a different transportation now. It's working. Oh, there I go. Okay. Okay, so finally, after a long detour around the police blockades, etc., for Joe, we arrived somewhere on the street. Oh, this is Old, old Town. You guys, in one hour, yeah. President Joe Biden is going to speak to the people here in yeah. the Old Town. And maybe we are people for the too. First time in years he came to Poland. Yeah. Tell to the Polish people, to the whole world, I guess. I think so. What he thinks about yeah. Putin's war in Ukraine. It's, a, it's not a war. In one hour it's going special to happen. Special operation. And we are going to show you what oh. he's going to say. Yeah, and here his uh, bodyguards are already standing. No, that's a pierog, a pieruk. A pieruk, right. So anyway, we move on together with a uh, whole lot of people. And um, well, we'll check in again when something new is about to happen. Okay, so here we have a collection of uh, various cars of all sorts of regions of everywhere. I don't know. So, what's, which model is which? Do you know the names of the models? That's a Skoda, that's a cheap one. This is a Toyota of a country I don't know. I don't know this flag. I don't know this flag too. I don't know this flag too. That is of the local football this club. This is I guess. Bulgaria. This is Slovak Republic. This is I have no idea. Azerbaijan or Kazakhstan? Flag. Kazakhstan it is, I think. I don't know. It looks very weird flags. Oh the people sleeping there. <coughs> so the security is high. The security is high because there are people sleeping. It might so be Romania? Parent, yeah, it could be. That's Romania, yeah, I think. <laughs> and well they'll the the overall conclusion is they like black cars. Mm -hmm. Apart from this guy who has a sort of grayish model of well, it's a nice model, but it's uh, he, he thing he thought okay, you know what? I will take a different color. Nice. All right, so we are at the main square now. There's a queue of people supposedly having tickets to allowed entry on Joe's party which we don't have any entry tickets yet so I don't care but we'll wait until something happens thank you thank you thank you Please, if you have a seat, be seated. If you don't, <laughs> come up on stage. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here. Mr. President, they tell me you're over there somewhere. There you are. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> be not afraid. These are the first words at the first public address of the first Polish Pope after his election on October 1978. They were the words that would come to define Pope John Paul II. Words that would change the world. John Paul brought the message here to Warsaw in his first trip back home as Pope in June of 1979. It was a message about the power, the power of faith, the power of resilience, the power of the people. Under false claims of ethnic solidarity, there's invalidated neighboring nations. Putin has the gall to say he's denazifying Ukraine. It's a lie. It's just cynical. He knows that. And it's also obscene. President Zelensky was democratically elected. He's Jewish. His father's family was wiped out in the Nazi Holocaust. And Putin has the audacity, like all our autocrats before him, to believe that might will make right. Don't even think about 
holding on one single inch of NATO territory. We have sacred obligation. We have a sacred obligation under Article 5 to defend each and every inch of NATO territory with the full force of our collective power. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, for free people refused to live in a world of hopelessness and darkness. We will have a different future, a brighter future, rooted in democracy and principles, hope and light, of decency and dignity, of freedom and possibilities. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. God bless you all, and may God defend our freedom, and may God protect our truth. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. Okay, we have to find the transportation home and uh, well, we can look around, but well, maybe, maybe we have an option here, I don't know, it's only uh, 200,000 euros I believe, but unfortunately the shop is closed, so we have to find another way to get home, but we'll uh, probably succeed. Well guys, this was uh, evening out in uh, central Warsaw, it's a little chilly now, as little you can chilly. see. We've been standing for uh, Joe for quite a while, so we're a little frozen. <coughs> and uh, well, we're standing in front of the uh, presidential palace, which is currently being renovated, apparently. Um, but for today, I think uh, we'll go home now, take an Uber we'll take for an another Uber. transportation. We'll go home. We'll go home. It's and enough, uh, for today. enough for today, and we'll see what. Uh, to decide what we'll do tomorrow but uh, for now for today thank you and uh, see you next time